I've seen five different doctors through the HMO and through the VA, and they've all told me the same thing. There's nothing you can do about it. Well, obviously, that seems to be wrong. My legs feel like lead weights. See, one of the things that bothers me the most is my legs used to be the strongest part of my body. My primary problem is fear. All that compression hose and orthopedics do is make it more comfortable to walk. It doesn't do anything towards improving the condition. Yeah, if I'm walking heel to toe, that's a big improvement because I know that I've been shuffling. From my ankle up to the the calf muscle itself. It was really intense when I would massage a little bit, it would hurt. And that seems to have stopped. And uh, I'm getting more feeling in, in this part of my leg than I had. And it's that way with both legs. The only time I shuffle is when I get very tired and my back gets tired. Yeah. And of course, then the tendency is to do this. In the beginning, I was really getting exhausted because I was running around and doing things and having to do things that I had never done before. His poor feet were so swollen. Getting shoes on was, was really, really difficult for him because uh, everything had expanded so much. When you go to the doctor, you know, talk to him. See, it, it was to the, it was like the color of dark, dark berries, you know. It, it, and I was, I thought, they may have to take his toes off one of these days, you know. People yeah. do, they get gangrenous and all of that. Yeah. It was very, very frightening. Yeah. He would get up in the morning and he'd be afraid to put his feet down on the floor to start walking because of the feeling that he would get uh, in the bottom of his feet. Oh, I'm the biggest skeptic ever. I really am, um, sometimes beyond when I should be. So obviously I didn't think that this was going to do very much. It was no more than a week and a half, two weeks, when he had pretty little pink toes again. <laughs> By the way, I just did something which I couldn't have done before. I couldn't have put my weight on one leg and and done this. My balance wouldn't have allowed it. Uh, today, getting off the walker, I can feel more action or reaction in the shin as well as in the calf, which means the exercise is having an effect. It didn't have any feeling in there at all before. I can feel myself walking more casually. Yes. You actually look like you're walking, not shuffling. Not shuffling, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. That yeah. comes from the confidence that you realize that you're not going to fall. Yeah. You don't have to stay glued to the ground. My walking balance feels improved. And this is, it's comfortable being on the sand dune. It's not comfortable being on a hard floor, whether I've worked out or not. Right. So. So how does it feel for you as far as the walking now? I mean, the, the sensation of it all. No, I'm comfortable walking. Yeah. It shows. It shows in the gait. I, I don't think about my balance when I'm walking now. In fact, I realize I don't think, I'm not thinking about it at all. Everybody has said to me, look, Jack's walking. My goodness, he, he's really, he's walking great. Used to be that he, he would be bent over a lot and shuffle and be a little, you know, there's a lot of wires strung and everything and, and you get a little nervous about uh, tripping over things. And he's got such confidence now and, and uh, the, 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the evening. You can shove this thing out of the way once you've done it. 
stick it in front of your TV or read a book or whatever, and the time is gone in no time. And it, it's amazing that it could have that kind of results. It's just amazing.